Um, hello, Liam Payne. Hello. <laughs> hello, Zayn Malik. Hello. Hello, Harry Styles. Hi, Nick Grimshaw. How are you all? Very all well. Good. Nice to see you all. How are you? I'm, I'm all right. Good. But I didn't go to the premiere last night, and I didn't go to a party last night, so I feel refreshed and revived. Good. How do you all feel? I feel like I need to do this. For the benefit of radio, Liam is putting his head on the table with his with hood, a hood up. Yeah, I f- yeah, yeah, not I much thought going into today. I feel reasonably well rested, actually. I went to bed quite early. Yeah, okay, right. you party I feel quite tired, if I'm honest. Are you? Yeah. Would you want to wrap this up? Yeah. Lovely to talk right. to you. See you next too. year. Oh, I'll see you in a while. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I'm off to the Greg James show. Okay, see you later. <laughs> um, how was it last night? Because I've, I've seen it nothing but it. I mean, it was in like the papers constantly. It was on like the, it was on the news this morning. I like that it's news that you had a film out. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. mate. You, honestly, like when we when we first got there and saw how many people had like waited and camped out for us and stuff. Like we, for one, we couldn't believe we're at our own premiere. For mm-hmm. two, how many people turned up it was just crazy and couldn't have gone better to be honest. There was people like camping out. Would there be anyone now? We paid or? them to do that. Oh, we, well, mm. we thought it was that. a marketing plea. Yeah. So we paid them to camp it's out. A great idea. So it was in their nose. Yeah. Great idea. If you look closely, they're Don't all believe sort the of hype. Like Thirty-five-year-old extras. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen him in like the Churchill advert. And yeah, stuff. yeah. They were all posing <clears> as fans. Um, we sent Ian actually from the Radio and Breakfast Show to Leicester Square to try and break in yesterday and there was like people camping out like you know overnight and all that is there oh, anyone that you would have done that for or anyone that you when you were a bit younger is there anyone that you'd have that obsessive level of love for um, for no there's then, definitely from people that I would have <laughs> wanted to I don't know if I would have been allowed I so yeah. wouldn't have been allowed I don't know if I've got the yeah. commitment for that never imagine like, I'm going to London although I do like camp camping out, so yeah, yeah I know hey I read on Twitter as well last night that there was a woman waiting inside the cinema in a bridesmaid dress yes to marry I you. saw that woman and no, I was so confused. Dress, I, bride's bride's dress. Dress. I thought she'd just got married, and, and I'm that here was like to a stand thing. while you marry <laughs> someone else. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I, I saw her walk past, and I just wondered whether she just got married, was waiting for said proposal, or was I off think to she Vegas. Was waiting for any one of you who was around. Yeah. She was no, waiting for Morgan. She had no preference. Yeah, or Spurlock. Spurlock She'll take yeah. Spurlock or a <laughs> Winston. Yeah. She'll take anything. Anyone will take cameraman, no. sound Look guy. I heard she was after you. Really? Yeah. She's still there then. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong tree. Um, does someone teach you what to do? Because I saw when you get out on that premiere, and I always think that when I go, I always feel a little bit weird and don't really know what yeah. to do. Does someone teach you what to do when you turn up to a premiere? Do you know what it, do you know what it was for me? I had slightly bigger shoes on than I'd usually have, and when I got out of the car, there was a second where I nearly fell over, and then when we went upstairs on the stage, there was another second where I nearly fell over. I had a couple of close escapes yesterday. Yeah, they never tell you what to do. Like the Viana door it. just opens, and you, f- you feel yourself like trying to sort your jacket out and uh-huh. stuff because you look like a bit of an idiot getting out. I watched some interviews today to prep for this interview for now, uh, and some of the hard-hitting questions I saw. Zane, you got asked a lot about like the album. Mm-hmm. Liam, I saw you got asked about the film. Harry, yours was like hard-hitting. Like, how would you do your hair? <laughs> What's like so your? How do you do your tough? head? Very erect it's, today. It's very erect today, isn't it? Yes. It's massive. Uh, uh, very, just I imagine that the same way you do. Just put some stuff in it, shake it, and then hey presto. See what happens. Then, hey presto, yeah. erect. It's erect. <laughs> and then you're done for the day. You can get on with your day. What's like the worst question do you think that you do get asked at something like that? I think... Because if you say it now, you can declare it. and then If you could have any superpower. Yeah, superpower. Yeah. Or That's um, stupid. Yeah. Well, it's but not going to happen, is it? Yeah, well, I'm I'm down, down, can, we can but hope. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, but you might not get the superpower that you, you wish. You might just get something else. And then you're just a bit like, mm. I don't want that one. I don't want super strength. I want didn't it to want be invisible. One, thanks. Didn't want one, thanks. Um, Simon Cowell was there as well last night. Yes. And he was saying he that won't. he feels like a father to you. Do you ever feel that Simon Cowell is your father? I will be a uh, <laughs> That's We a used question. to call him Uncle Simon on the show. Uh, Uncle Si. Yeah. Uncle yeah, Si. Uncle si. si. Yeah. Now he's... Uh, anyway. Father. <laughs> Father five, sorry. Um, I wanted to speak to you about doing this movie because um, it, was, it seemed like the cameras were there everywhere. I went and watched it yesterday and they were there for everything. But was there a moment you and you were like, actually, you can't, you can't put that in. You can't do Do you know that. what? I was thinking the other day. It was like in the bed. There was, was a moment everywhere. when we were at the Brits, actually, where we got the award and we went to the toilet. And I just turned around and I was at the urinal, <laughs> just to a camera behind me. And I was just wondering, is this going to be my life from now on? Just cameras <laughs> yeah. just everywhere. It was really strange. That would have been nice with a voiceover. Like, and Liam yeah. has popped for a wee. <laughs> it's all go in the movie. <laughs> you, had you seen it before yesterday? Had you seen like, like edits of it? Or, like, yeah, we'd, bits seen, of it? we'd seen the final cut like twice, yeah. maybe, but... 
We'd seen like eight of the cuts, I think. See, I had a different tactic for this. I didn't go to the final cuts because I thought I'd leave some surprises for yes. the the, um, the cinema. But the problem was we had to leave early to get to the party and the bits that I hadn't seen, I still haven't <gasps> seen. So I haven't seen the full film. The end. Mate, I don't know what happened. Oh my my mum came home to me and mentioned something to me yesterday. I was like, I don't remember that being in the film. What's yeah. happened there? Zane dies at the end words. of the film. It's really dramatic. Yeah. That's what I heard it's, as well. It's horrible. It's like, it's like Man Titanic. on a Ledge 2. It's Zane and Harry, uh, he's on a door, and he <laughs> drowns. It's horrible. I've seen uh, it all nine <laughs> times, and it was very well researched on the film. Yes. Yep. Yes. What's your favourite bit? My favourite bit is, uh, I like the end credits. <laughs> you like the end credits? Yeah, I do. Only you oh, thanks, would Morgan say that. Thanks, Morgan Spurlock. I like <laughs> the end credits. <laughs> no, I mean, like... <laughs> yeah. Good job. Oh, like the job. little outtake bits yes. are good. If that, I, there was outtakes. Yeah, I left when I the credits s- were on. Because I had things to do. So I, when the credits were on, I thought I'd leave then. You got all your families in it. That was my favourite bit, like seeing... Yeah. This sounds dark, but like seeing your family's like a little bit sad and like emotional. I quite like Is that, that. what you like? Is That's it? See my family sad? Yeah, I'm a sadist. Oh, I like. um, but no, I quite like that because that was like really real <laughs> for me. Was there much convincing getting your families in or did they ask to be in it? I think they kind of pretend that they're a bit embarrassed about being in it, but really they, they love it, and it's like all over their Facebook and stuff. And they're like, <laughs> I'm in the film! <laughs> and really, they, you know, to us, they're like, oh, I don't want to be in that. Where's her makeup? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I, really don't oh, I don't want to be in that. I've it's been tough having my lessons. How did I do? How did I do? <laughs> did anyone do that? Like anyone in your family or anyone actually in the band, like act a little bit different because they knew the cameras were on? Because I've had people that I know, like friends, who I think are really funny, and I get them in to do a radio feature, and then when they get on radio, they hey, like, hey. talk all like this. And like, oh, yeah, they go to the toilet like. and come out in like a tuxedo. Like, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi. I noticed that, like, depending on who we were talking to in the film, our own accents changed a little bit. Yeah. That was a bit strange. Really? Yeah. You know what you mean, bro? Like when I was yeah. talking when I was talking to my mum, like on the phone, my, yeah, my accent went loads more yeah. Yorkshire. Yeah, it went a bit more Bradford. Yeah, Bradford. A bit more Bradford. <laughs> right, a bit more Bradford. Yeah, a bit uh-huh. more Bradford like I saw that you in the movie. You said you brought your mother a house. I did. Yeah. How long do you think I'd have to know you until you bought me a house? Uh, well, my mum did give birth to me. That is true. And I did buy a house after 18 he years. You owed her rent for the so. world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you might have to do a few things, like, okay, and I might have to know you for 18 years. Okay, that's all right. How many Let years stay in we? your house for nine months and then yeah. house. move yeah. into my flat. Yeah. It's very womb like. <laughs> <laughs> That months. will be the like advertisement when you sell it. Yeah. It'll be like, it's a womb like flat. It's a womb It's got like, some yeah. very nice wombs. Womb like yeah. <laughs> one bed womb. <laughs> 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 and, and the family your families were there watching it. Were you worried about the families like seeing the real you? Because you do act a little bit different, or I do act a little bit different in front of my mum and dad. Was it weird having them at the premiere watching it with you and seeing what you are actually like when you're at I don't work? think my mum actually saw the film. She was just crying the whole time. <laughs> her. She told me actually uh, she was wearing the 3D glasses and in the end they got fogged up so she couldn't see what's going on. She <laughs> lied to me then because I always say that she cr- that I've never Never met her without her crying, and she oh. came up to me at the party and she was like, "I didn't cry. Oh, wait, I know I was crying on screen, but I didn't cry. I did it for you, mate." You know what the funniest thing was as well. My mum loves to keep a souvenir, right? She's a proper mm. hoarder with stuff like that. I saw with and the she tried to keep the out. 3D glasses, but the woman took her off her, and she was so annoyed. Bless her. Oh. Trying to rob the th- my mum's setting a bad example. Trying to rob 3D glasses, so. Yeah, you can get them out though, I reckon. You yeah, give yeah, you take she just not very, she's, not, she's, she's too much an honest criminal, <laughs> that's what it is. them in the bag. Yeah, drop you them you in. Oh, I yeah. did go and see a film for work once and watch it and was like, it's such a terrible version and like watched like half an hour of it and then my friend was like, it's because you've got your sunglasses on and <laughs> <laughs> 3D glasses are on your head. I was like, oh. What's it like when you get home then from something like a premiere or a world tour where you've been faced for that for, for months or like, you know, weeks and weeks on end? What's that keep it like when you step into your house and it's just like, you in your house. Sometimes I find it's a bit quiet. I have to put loud music on, and jump uh, around a bit, but, uh, and get home. Yeah, you need to kind of wean off. Uh-huh. Like you know when take that finished that circus tour. No. Apparently, oh, well, apparently <laughs> Gary Barlow. Oh yeah, I remember it well. Yeah. Gary Barlow went to Vegas uh-huh. to like wean himself out of the crazy. Wow. Because it was so the tour was so crazy. Because he used to like ride out on an elephant or something. So his tour was that insane that he had to he go He needed to like take it Vegas. down a notch by going <laughs> yeah. to Vegas. By yeah. going to Vegas, just to, just to kick back. Um, Liam, Zane, Harry, lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mr. Grimshaw, we'll see you again soon.